Hey, what's up guys? As I'm Mark Yoon, and today I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. <clears throat> so what I got for you today is kind of a on-the-moment sporadic video, I guess you can say. Um, I've been noticing a pretty disturbing trend of misinformation about Soul Calibur 6 being postulated out there and being just thrown out there into the ether, especially after uh, Season 2 has concluded and uh, no Season 3 was announced for um, Evo or E3 or anything like that. Um, if you watch my channel, then like this is not really going to pertain too much uh, to you, but it's good to be involved in this conversation so you know what's going on in our comment section and uh, places like that. This usually doesn't happen on the Discord because I very closely um, like moderate uh, our community and I have mods that help me do that as well. I have a whole mod team that helps do that. So that's not really the too big of the position here. I'm going to read a couple comments. I'm not going to show you the people's names because I don't want any uh, harassment towards these people at all. And if you are the person watching this and this is your comment, this is to help inform you. This is in no way to uh, shame or bash you. So I just want to make that clear off the bat. Um, because if anything, I want you to become a member of my community, a part of my community, uh, part of the Yoon fam, and not just uh, an interloper or a grifter or somebody who says these things and then gets yelled at by my community and then gets scared away. Um, the biggest thing that I've been seeing is uh, this kind of like misnomer about uh, see, uh, about Soul Calibur 6 being a failure uh, based on the fact that Season 3 hasn't come out. Um, I will say that like in the beginning, like uh, this could, I can see where the lines of threads will be going for this, and I can see where the narrative is going. So I can see how easily it is for someone to be taken in by this misinformation. And again, this is just here to help you. Um, so when season uh, one first came out, right, we looked into the data. I, I went through the data myself. I've made several videos on that. And we saw the characters that were going to be in season two. And we also saw uh, character placeholders for season three. That being uh, Lizard, uh, I mean, Aeon, um, Rock, uh, and potentially Yoon Song. Um, so there was a lot of uh, media being put out, especially new media for people on YouTube and things on Reddit and Twitter like that. So I've made tons of videos on this as well, right? Because I, I personally looked at the data. And the hype was real because we had started to see this overarching um, kind of like landscape of where the future of Soul Calibur 6 was going to go. Um, but Soul Calibur 6 was like released somewhat late in the life cycle of the last generation, that being PlayStation 4, um, Xbox One, and uh, you know, PC and Switch, but it wasn't on Switch. A lot of people are saying um, that Soul Calibur 6 was abandoned or Soul Calibur 6 uh, canceled Season 3. This is definitely not um, true by any standard or any unit of metric. Uh, season 3 was never officially announced. And if after Season 2 even, there was plenty of rings on the roll and rumors that I've been saying for months. I've been saying since, since Season 2 came out or even a little bit before that the possibility of Season 3 is pretty low. Um, they end season two on a high note uh, leading up to Soul Calibur 7, and they literally say to be continued at the end of um, uh, the Soul Chronicle for, I believe it's Wang Sung Young. It might be an extra one actually unlocked after you beat his. Um, it, it literally gives us the full plot for Soul Calibur 7. It starts the inner workings. It's a somewhat of a prologue and an epilogue to this game at the same time. Um, it like literally uh, shows us where the game's going. So by any unit of metric, by any unit of measure, by any person who's ever played a game before, if you see Soul Calibur 1 doesn't have it to be continued and you see Season 2 does have it to be continued, you're automatically going to assume that there's going to be no Season 3. You're going to be hopeful that there is a Season 3, but you're going to keep your options open, right? Um, so a lot of people, unfortunately, were peddling around that Season 3 is still definitely happening. Here's how it's going to happen. We had record numbers of views on across all of YouTube because of the, the pandemic. And um, a lot of people were staying at home and watching YouTube. And I've seen a lot of other uh, YouTubers, I'm not going to name any names, like just building up false hype and like talking about how there's still hope and begging Motohiro Okubo and Project Soul and Bandai Namco on Twitter, making Reddit threads and Reddit posts about it. And I tend to stay out of that kind of stuff. Like, usually if someone wants to promote my channel, I don't really do that myself that often. I let my 
uh, UNFAM members, or I let like my community go out and say, hey, if, go check out this video or whatever. And I will recommend a video of mine um, during this video, so I hope you stay tuned for that. And what was going to happen is that like um, a lot of these people are coming into my comment section recently. It's not even like a long time. Like it's like recently like saying this misinformation. Which leads me to believe that they're watching other YouTubers that I don't watch or something and getting some kind of uh, information about this game that I don't know where the source is. Uh, but we're going to go over a few of these comments and I'm going to address them directly even though I already addressed them in the comment section. I want to address them for everyone watching as well who may not be in the comment section. Um, again, the best place to have these discussions is my Discord which you'll find a link in the description box down below. Completely free to join. You don't have to be a member or anything like that. We just have plenty of cool conversations but let's get to the point. <sighs> I gotta start with this. Um, the first uh, thing that I want to go on before I read these comments is I want to talk about um, sales figures real quick. Um, I'm going to show a unit of measure on the screen right here. And a lot of people keep saying that Soul Calibur 5 is in the same category as Soul Calibur 6 and that Soul Calibur 6 failed just like Soul Calibur 5 did which is completely untrue. The, the fact that we have two full-fledged out seasons with extra story, um, the fact that uh, Soul Calibur VI beat its expectations and actually uh, got to two million uh, physical sales as we've seen. And if you look at the sales chart, you can notice something that's very uh, similar. Soul Calibur games usually only do between uh, around two million sales per game. Like even Soul Calibur II had only two million sales and people usually look at those games as being like the pinnacle of Soul Calibur, right? I think it's Soul Calibur 3, but a lot of people argue with me that it's Soul Calibur 2. The reason Soul Calibur 3 is not mentioned here is because Sony financed that game, so it was only on PlayStation and they withheld the sales data for that game. Um, so Soul Calibur uh, 5 was canceled. Um, I made a whole video about this that uh, you can find out before. Um, I'm going to actually show it right here on this side of the screen while you see the sales charts on here. Uh, if you go to my playlist, there's a playlist called Mini Documentaries, and inside there, there is a video called Soul Calibur 6 A Bumpy Road. I believe it's called Trouble in Paradise in the title. Um, if you click on that, it'll tell you everything that happened um, from Soul Calibur leading up to Soul Calibur 6, why um, the budget was cut so low, uh, and things of that nature, right? So you can find all the information you want there. So we may be 2 million sales totals. The goal for Soul Calibur 6 was set by Bandai Namco to Project Soul and Motohiro Okobo and Masayama and everybody else is that they were supposed to get at least 1 million sales. Uh, this whole thing was supposed to be to get to a Soul Calibur 7, to reignite the series, to restart the series, to get a new fan base, um, basically to reboot the entire franchise um, and start over. After Soul Calibur 5, uh, that Soul Calibur short-lived iOS free-to-play game and um, that also that free-to-play game that was on consoles. So uh, those things killed the series. Uh, Soul Calibur 5 is totally different from Soul Calibur 6. I'm going to just go over this quickly before I get to the comments, I promise. I'll we'll get there in a minute. Soul Calibur 6 literally had... Um, I mean, Soul Calibur 5 literally had 75% of its story cut, which is, this is all like factual that you can look up this information from and you actually look at the team themselves. Um, it didn't meet sales goals expectations. It only sold 1.38 million in its entire life cycle. Uh, so that's from like literally when it came out and I believe it's 2012 up until now. 1.38 million. Of course, they're not counting digital sales because they never do. Uh, and I personally had Soul Calibur 5 physically and digitally. So if that's anything, but the thing that I'm getting at is Soul Calibur 5 was cut short. It got rid of modes that it was supposed to have. It like was very bare bones. And everyone I'm talking to knows this about the game, right? That's why the story was centered mainly around uh, Patroclos and Pyrrha. It wasn't really supposed to. It was supposed to include a lot more of the new generation that they were actually including. Um, before this reboot, Soul Calibur 6 has two fully fledged out seasons. It surpassed 2 million sales, which, which is tied with Soul Calibur 2 for sales. And it's only in its like... Uh, when did that come out? 2018, I want to say. Uh, so it's only had like 19, 20, 21. It's been had. It's in. It's in its third year. It's had three years going on its fourth year, and it's already like matched Soul Calibur 2's lifetime sales and far surpassed Soul Calibur 5's lifetime sales. And again, this is not including digital. Again, I own uh, PlayStation on PlayStation 5 or 4. Technically, I have um, Soul Calibur 6. Physically, I have the special edition, and on 
and with all the DLC. And on Xbox, uh, I actually have Soul Calibur 6 and all the DLC digitally. So they, again, they're not counting digital sales, they're only counting physical sales. Going by all these unit of metrics and the fanfare for Okubo when he left Project Soul and uh, how highly regarded the game is uh, with not only the community but uh, Bandai Namco itself, how it uh, had such a strong, if it wasn't for the netcode um, positioning in esports and stuff like that, uh, there, you can't compare the two games. But I'll go over a little bit more of that as we're addressing these comments and this is where you've been waiting for. I'm sorry it took so long, but let's get in there. So this comment that I want to read that I'll show on screen right here, I'm not going to say the name again, but the person says, At Mark Yoon, they abandoned Soul Calibur 6 and Soul Calibur 5 games midway. Is there anything out there saying that they're definitely working on a Soul Calibur 7? Uh, so Soul Calibur 6, 6 was not abandoned halfway. It's been three years. It's had two fully fleshed out seasons. And uh, the biggest comparison I usually see to this is people saying, like, well, Tekken's going on this season. Tekken's got, like, 7 million sales or something like that, and Tekken always outsells Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur's more of a niche fighting game for Bandai Namco. It's nowhere near as popular as Tekken. Um, so comparing it to Tekken or Street Fighter or, like, Mortal Kombat is just absurd, in my opinion, especially when the highest regarded game of Soul Calibur, people say, I wish we would go back to this day of Soul Calibur 2, only has 2 million sales, which is tied with Soul Calibur 6. So, I, again, I don't understand where people are getting their misinformation from. But um, Soul Calibur 5 was canceled midway. I mean, it, it, they couldn't conform to the, the release standards or schedule, so they decided to cut most of the story. Uh, the DLC was completely canceled for Soul Calibur 5, whereas Soul Calibur 6, the DLC was fully realized. Um, so I just don't understand like where they're getting this information from, but I, again, I don't want to harp on them too much. Um, so I actually responded, and then I got a response saying, two seasons, and then it was abandoned. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading off my phone, I'm sorry. Two seasons, and then it was abandoned with no future support. I definitely left a bad taste in people's mouths after it happened twice already. It makes you feel like if Bamco would even uh, bother making it again. Also, Tekken just finished, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to talk about that. Um, if there was a Concrete 7 that didn't come before, that abandoned uh, support for Soul Calibur 6. And I kept saying, um, I'm going to read my um, comment directly and show it on screen just so there's no misinformation and we can take it from what it will. I said they didn't abandon Soul Calibur 6. There was no announcement of a Season 3 and just because there was data placeholders doesn't mean it was meant to happen or planned. Season 2 literally ended on a high note with a to be continued at the end. The only people who are still salty are the ones that don't know any better or, don't, or aren't very knowledgeable on the subject. Also, you can't compare Tekken to Soul Calibur. So it's pretty much what I just said. I'm trying as hard as I can not to be mean or uh, obtuse, but uh, it really is about misinformation. And I can't, like... Another thing that I keep seeing is people bring up Bandai Namco, Bandai Namco, Bandai Namco. Like, Bandai Namco is a publisher. Like, I mean, they do set the standards of uh, in the timeline for which you're supposed to complete your game. Like, okay, the game has to be uh, this many sales. The game has to be out by this. The game has to be done by this. The game has to be blah, blah, blah. And the publishers are the ones that rush the developers into their development cycle and to meet their de de development cycle without, like, asking for an extension. So they are responsible for that. But as far as any of the content that comes out with the game, the developers are the ones that create that content. So a, a, even though it's approved by the publisher, the publisher uh, is not ultimately responsible for what happens with the developer. And publishers and distributors, is uh, like they, they are overarching umbrellas that like are in control of these studios, which have smaller studios. So Bandai Namco Studios has Tekken staff and it has Project Soul right like they are not a hundred percent responsible for this and i think it's just like saying bandai namco is a thing that people do to make themselves seem like pseudo intellectual or more intellectual than they are about the subject because if not you would talk directly about the staff that's on project soul you would talk directly about uh, masayama or Motohiro okobo you would actually talk about like the things that are going on behind the scenes you wouldn't just say this like arbitrary things of abandoned when there's no evidence of that you wouldn't say things like uh Let's just move on to this thing. Bandai Namco is no longer supporting Soul Calibur 6. One could say they abandoned it. Which, if you want to, if you want to say that they abandoned it, like abandoned and no longer supporting are two completely different things. So no, you can't say that. You can say they're no longer supporting the game. And if there was no plans of supporting it past this point, then it's not an abandonment issue. It's the game's done. We're in a new generation. Soul Calibur 7 is going to happen. It just 
we're in that lull period where we're not going to get a, a Soul Calibur game for the next like like three years. And uh, of course, like this is going to suck for us, maybe two years. But I mean, um, th this person just goes on to say that like I believe it had a chance to make the series great, but it failed to make it into esports, which is not true. It was it was in all of the esports tournaments. And just because it wasn't in Evo this year, because Evo was completely online and the net code for Soul Calibur 6 isn't 100% great, it was still one of the side tournaments and PlayStation had its own esports tournament alongside of that. Uh, so I don't know where they're getting their information from. They go on to say RE is a reversal edge is stupid, which um, it has nothing to do with this conversation. Um, and then he, say, he says that Tekken 8 was confirmed, but we don't know if Tekken 7 was coming out. Uh, after they decided not to make a season three, again, it's their their wording. They're they're looking at it from a perspective of bad, right? So they're using bad wording to back it up when they're saying the same thing that you would be saying good about the game. Soul Calibur two, Soul Calibur six is complete with season two. Um, they finished season two. They're not making season three. That's how you say it. Not they decided not to make season three because now when you're saying decided not, you're actually putting agency to this thought so you're saying that somebody made a decision to cancel a season three not that season three was never announced because because the game was the data was in the codes we weren't supposed to see that like they don't count on people data uh, like hacking the game and then like pulling all these files and reading and just not even reading but discerning all of these placeholder like stone yell yellow like, you know, all these, like, placeholder names that, like, we literally have to translate, kind of. Um, this is all the community. There was no announcement. And we, as far as we know, there's no plan for an announcement. Games have data, leftover data, and leftover code all the time. It's not saying that something was canceled. There was no decision to make a Soul Season 3 and then pull back. Like, for any reason. They said that Season 2 was the last season. And as far as we knew... Motohiro Okubo, even though all the characters and all the data for Season 2 was in there since Season 1, said that they weren't even sure if Season 2 was going to happen, but because of the sales and because of how well Season 1 sold, they were given the green light to go ahead and finish off with Season 2. Motohiro Okubo was coming to the end of his contract. He decided not to renew his contract with Bandai Namco for whatever reason, moved over to that new company in Shibuya, and now they have no executive producer, so they're going to look for a new executive producer before they start production on Soul Calibur 7. That's it. I don't know where all this conflation is coming from. Um, and then they were just going on to talk about like um, publishers and stuff like that. And and I mean, I don't know why you can say that. I mean, like, are we going to blame Aniplex if Demon Slayer doesn't have a, a, a free season of Demons like it announced, which is not even, it's not even a good comparison. But I mean, that's made by Aniplex in Japan, but elsewhere it's going to be produced by Sega, published, not published by Sega, published and distributed by Sega. So there's two different umbrellas there. Like, which one are you going to go after? It just doesn't make any sense. Um, <sighs> and then I got another comment today, which is the last comment I'm going to talk about. I don't want to make this video run on too long, even though it already has. And this is already going into, like, a mini documentary territory. I'm sorry. Uh, I got another comment. Again, I'm going to hold this comment's uh, user's name back because this is not an attack on you. I just want to try and help alleviate some things. Um, it's a shame that Soul Calibur 6 died just as fast as Soul Calibur 5 did. The game had so much potential with its fighting mechanics and characters. So again, I'm going to read my comment, and then we'll just discuss this for a few minutes afterwards, and we'll end the video. Um, I said, it didn't though. It has fully fleshed out story with two expansions. They exceeded their plans and exceeded Bandai Namco's expectations. It also guaranteed them a sequel. Five had the lowest sales, cut the story by 70%, cut all DLC, and ended with the franchise until Okubo begged Bandai Namco um, to give Soul Calibur 6 another, uh, Soul Calibur another chance with 6. Soul Calibur 6 was a success, a success and it's still used in tournaments. I have no idea where you're getting your information from, but I'd ask you to check your sources and verify your information. Uh, again, trying as nice as I possibly can. Again, I'm going to show these again. You can read, uh, go watch this video, The Journey of Soul Calibur Six: Trouble in Paradise. Um, and you're going to find out all the information that comes from that. So what, what are we going to discern from this? What are we going to take away? Um, a, please check your sources before you go around saying stuff in people's comment section. Like, I, again, I don't expect every, like, normative Andy to come into my like chat or come into my um, comment section and be the most knowledgeable about every subject because that's what I'm here for right I'm here to 
um, talk with you guys about this series that we love and give information and um, just have an open conversation, right? But if you come in here with these false equivalencies and straight up just like random ass hattery that's like completely pulled out of your butt, um, we're going to have a little bit of an issue. And uh, I'm going to try to talk to you about it. And some of my community members are going to try to talk to you about it. And like most of the time, they're, they're pretty good about being cordial uh, and not starting arguments. But this is how we get misinformation spread. Um, because these same people aren't going to respond to this video or to the comments that they've received from other people. They're just going to go make a Reddit thread about it, which gets more information out there. They're going to go post about it on Twitter, which spreads more information about it. Uh, maybe even on their own YouTube channels or on others' YouTube channels. It's just I've seen other other YouTubers that talk about all fighting games as a general or talk about Soul Calibur 6 even specifically, and they get the information wrong, and they don't cite sources, and they just pretty much are opinion pieces or op-eds, um, which are fine if that's what you're looking for. But the problem is is that like we just came off the celebration of 2 million sales, right? We just saw Soul Calibur being celebrated as Motohiro Okubo left. We just saw Bandai Namco praising him for the job that he did. Um, we, we see Project Soul still staying together after Soul Calibur 6 Season 2 is finished, and they're going to be working on the future of the, the games probably on Unreal Engine 5, so they have a lot of work to put over all those assets, especially before it comes out, which is only going to be on uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. Uh, and possibly PC, but that's probably going to be a third party that actually does the porting for that game. Um, but we're not going to see this until like 2023, 2024, right? So spreading this misinformation in this lull where we have no information coming out from the actual you know, publisher or from the actual development team, you're going to get a lot of people that are going to have a bad taste in their mouth when they really shouldn't. Um, do you, whether you like Soul Calibur 6 or not is besides the point. You can go on to hate Soul Calibur 6. You can love Soul Calibur 6. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is if you're going to make any kind of argument, if you're going to have any kind of fully fledged out thought where you're trying to convince somebody that your point is right, the first thing that you need to consider what your sources are and if the information you're giving is correct. If the information that you're giving may be sus or isn't exactly like 100% like positive or you don't know or you're not sure that's the time where you need to go and do your research before you actually come and make a comment like this and if your sole objection is to come and confirm your own biases in somebody's chat it's often not going to end well for you because we often already have our own set of uh, information and standards in which we're going to go by so again if you were one of these people that left one of these comments to me or one of the others that i didn't get a chance to get to because this video is going on far too long please just do your best to inform yourself. That's all I can say. I'm not going to say come to me as a source for information if you don't want to, or to go to somebody else as a source for information if you don't want to, but you should at least try your best to do your own research so that when you have these opinions, you're not going to be met with complete backlash, okay? Um, just keep an open mind, do the research, and uh, with that being said, we're going to bring this video to a close. I want to thank you guys for watching and listening, especially if you made it to the end. Um, if you made it to the end this far, we're going to give you a secret word because this is a long-ass video and I apologize. Um, if you made it to this part of the video, I want you to type in the comment section down below, thanks Okubo. And that's how I'll know that you made it to the full end of the video. With that being said, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and all that stuff. Please like and subscribe and share the video. That really helps out the channel a lot. Join the Discord like I already mentioned. You guys know what to do. You're not idiots. Uh, this community is pretty smart. And... I know that you guys like are pretty much on the up and up. Um, we're on the same page. So, as I always say, guys, I love it. Thank you. And thank you.